Do you believe the countries that are watching on and seeing Africa really starting to take control and increase its voice want to see Africa industrialized to the point where they lose their own industrial capacity because that industrial capacity will move to Africa? Africa must industrialize. Whether there are people who wish them to be able to do so or not, mm. uh, the quest of Africa to industrialize should not depend on anybody's decision, but Africa's decision. It is long overdue, and we must industrialize, because again, what is, sense does it make that we produce? We have a lot in terms of raw materials, all the wealth, and in fact, there is a contradiction. Africa has everything, it's very wealthy. Mm. On the other hand, it is also very poor. So how, what is the explanation? It is not justified. So Africa must come together, must invest in their resources, must invest in value addition, must get involved with manufacturing and understand there is a sense of urgency as well for this to happen. So guys, that's um, Paul Kagame, and he's 100% right. Africa has everything, but yet Africa is also one of the richest countries, but yet one also one of the poorest countries. This is not by accident, this is by design, but I do not solely and only blame colonialism. I don't blame colonialism and, um, and um, slavery. It also has to do with greed, that's one of our presidents, and lying in their pockets, they're not focusing on the country, they're not focusing on getting rich, buying um, properties in France and in the States and in Germany, in Europe in general. And that's one of our, um, that falls on us to not use the little utilizing our resources instead of getting rich and selling it off to the highest bidder. So we cannot just blame colonialism and slavery and that. So I just want to say that. Well, let's continue and hear what Kagami is saying and, and words. Are you concerned about external influence on the continent right now? I think, you know, when you speak, it depends on who you speak to, you know, the US wants to exert its influence, Europe, um, Russia, for example, that's definitely been in the news. Who is influencing the continent? Because China, for example, um, also wants a foothold and has a big foothold on the continent. Are you worried about external influence and what that means? Well, I think it's a concern, but I'm not worried because we need we are responsible for doing certain things for that not to happen. So, but that is happening. So that is another responsibility of the Africans to make sure that Africa is not there for anybody's taking. It's as if we are there just for anyone to come and pick and do whatever they want with us. So this is the responsibility we carry. This is something that is urgent to make sure that we are not there to be influenced to take a certain line or the other line because somebody has decided so and because somebody is powerful. So Africa must be that powerful to make sure that we do what has been determined by ourselves to be important to us and our people. What doesn't, what, what doesn't Africa have to be able to decide? Absolutely. Uh, to do that? Um, Mr. President, one quick question. You've got. Presidential elections later on this year, uh, President Biden last week said, or well, a few days ago said, I'm the most ma qualified man for the job and I need to see this through. I need to finish what I started. Um, elections in Rwanda this year, do you believe that you're the most qualified for the job and to see it through? Yeah, the elections are for people to decide whether the people they are electing are qualified to do the job. So we'll see. The voting counts. That's counts it. and history counts and uh, uh, the proof is in the pudding. So guys, let's just finish this out. Uh, what Paul Paul Kagame is saying is 100% right. We need to industrialize every single country on the continent to, to manufacture and refine our own resources instead of selling it overseas, get the manufacturing and refine and turn on and pay for it through. To, to get back to even first steel. Every most countries in, in Africa have 
metal ore, but yet we ship it out the country to get refined and then turn on and buy it back from the same country that buy the ore from us to return. So that's another thing. And Africa is not there for the taking, as Kagami is saying. We are not living in Oland in um in um in pre-colonized colonized times where we don't have any say. We now we have say. We can we can um. We can make laws, we can um, sign deals that benefits our continent. So this idea that Africa is there for the taking and the, uh, the Russians can come in and just take and the Chinese and, the, and, and whoever. Adam is right. We do need outside people to come in, but we need to sign favorable deals. Look at what Burkina Faso did and Niger and Mali. Burkina Faso, uh, Abraham Theory just construct this comes into the into the into the industrialization of, of the continent when they construct a gold a gold factory to refine their own gold instead of shipping it out and he also build a, a waste refining plant to refine all the waste from the mines to turn them into reusable um whatever he he recycles it into it's going to be reusable so we need to industrialize. So it's been happening and it can be done because Burkina Faso Abraham Chori did it. And he's make everyone comes who want to mine for anything. They have to go through the the the, the, the laws laid out but to pay the taxes and to make sure you hire locals and all of that. It's it's been done, it's been proven to be done through to Burkina Faso and Niger. So there's no excuse for no other country on the continent to do come out, come up with this excuse. We have to industrialize. Manufacture, create our own factories to refine our own uranium, our own diamonds, gold, um, metal, iron ore, back aluminum. We have all these resources, but no no we no no means of um refining it. Make sure it's can be sold, used, and sell on the continent for a much cheaper price. So it drives on the cost of export, import, cut the cost for the citizens to build homes and come on to metal, to steel, and to blocks, and all of that. And we sell our own products within the continent, like trading with, with, with each other, because I can't to the, to the, um, the new report of the, um, the African Union recently. The um there's still up to today three percent of trade within the continent. Everything is, is exported and imported from over, overseas. So why can't the African countries trade within each other? That is not the cause of colonialism. Well, it is technically because the div by a divided country, a divided continent cannot unite. So those seeds were sown to not trade with our own, but we have to get into the mindset and start to trade with our countrymen, as what Pastor Gami is saying. So, let me know what you think about this as always. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Like, comment, and subscribe. I don't know how that works. Boom.